Today on Candle Chats, we are going to be reviewing the candle company Votivo or Votivo. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Okay. I'm sure you don't know either. Nope. This is a very popular candle brand. I see them in gift shops and everywhere, so they seem super attainable. Um, this is a smaller size. It's 6.8 ounces. It has a decorative thing of twine, a symbol. I don't know. Looks like it won a medal of honor or something. Oh, hi, pretty. Like it's a little achievement. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like really thick, solid glass, 6.8 ounces, 50 to 60 hour burn time. Um, these are $28, which seems reasonable. Um, and what else? Oh, they're natural and syn synthetic wax. Natural and synthetic wax. Cool. So that's a little bit about the brand and now we'll go into the scents. So these are actually come wrapped up like this and it's, mm. it has like, I don't know, it just seems like a nice detail. Should we take them out? Yeah, sure. Okay. Looks like uh, the, the coffee you drink in the morning, the color of it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. They are all this color? I haven't unwrapped them, but I'm assuming oh. so. Mmm. This one smells very fresh. Like, um, like a flower just got out of the shower or something. Like a flower got out of the shower. This is red currant. Okay. It says tart citrus, cassis, and geranium. Um, it smells a lot like the um, infamous anthropology candle from, by Valespo or whatever that brand is. Yeah, it smells really good. When I showed these candles, everybody was replying to me on Instagram saying that this was their favorite. Mm. I can see this being like a fan favorite scent. It smells oh. like red currant. It smells exactly how you think it would smell. This one, I'm already getting like, uh, it smells like a, like a, like a, a house of intuition or something. Oh, that's that is incredibly accurate. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, what is it? What we talked about before, like patchouli oil. Is that one of the distinct? But it's like incense. I don't know, like it, like powdery incense. It smells incense. like an incense shop. Yeah. This one. Um. So this is. Who? Champaka. Um. Champa petals, patchouli, and clove. So damn, you're getting good. This really. This smells like an incense shop. If you hate incense, typical incense, you will not like this. I like it, but I can also see how that could be overpowering. It's a lot. It's a lot. So they are like the same color. It's like you know, it's funny they're like varying heights though. Oh, the, like on purpose? Is it? Is it? I don't think it it's on change? purpose. Oh, interesting. This one has a like a like a like a bolo tie. Oh one. yeah, it is kind of like that. I don't smell anything really. Like I get like a more like a wood, like a like a burning wood type of thing, like a like a no. like a like a like a, uh, a campfire. No, that is really far off. Okay, so I don't know. This smells very fresh, clean laundry to me. How do oh, you? How do you? I know. It smells, it smells smoky compared no. to this one. This one smells more like like fresh laundry. No. Okay, I don't know. Smell it again. Smell it again. Uh, yeah. I okay, mean, this is called juniper rain, chamomile, okay. juniper, and pepper. I think this smells. Maybe it's because the pepper. Fresh I don't know. I think his his ticker's off. Why do you make me do this? You, you <laughs> humiliate me on a it's weekly basis. It's not humiliating. Okay, this is the next one. This is the one. Clearly, it's been my favorite. I've been lighting it a lot. I like it. Yeah. This one, it's it's like. This one smells like the way you described that one. The, the burning, the wood fire one? Like it smells more um, earthy. I get more like like a caramel or something. Maybe you should get coffee and like sniff it. I don't, yeah, maybe, I don't know. This is um, smoked wood and amber. And it smells exactly like that. It smells really, really good. It has great throw. It burns pretty evenly. No like mushroom top happening. I was pretty impressed with this. Um, definitely my favorite and I would repurchase this. I like this scent a lot. Um, it smells like amber and wood. Very accurate. Hmm, I think I like this one the best so far. Wow. See, this one smells fresh. I get some like green, something green. I don't know, I can't pinpoint what it is, but that, like it's a different freshness than like than the other two. Maybe like aloe or something, I don't know. This is St. Germain and Lavender, or St. Germain oh, Lavender. Lavender. That's what I was, I was definitely smelling Lavender for sure. Chamomile, Lavender, and Tonka Bean. I really, I like to Tonka Bean and things. Oh, interesting. Um, 
Yeah, this is good. It's it's a little laundry scent to okay. me. Okay, yeah, I can we see We also that. use like lavender Mrs. Meyer, so I think, you That's, know. That's, yeah. Um, this isn't a scent I would normally gravitate to. I think it would smell good, I don't know, in a laundry room. Mm. It's it's good. It's just this is not a typical scent I would like. So if I if I had to rate these, I would definitely say the smoked amber or whatever it is. Smoked mm -hmm. wood amber would be my favorite. Mm -hmm. Red currant I think is like probably their best seller. People really love that scent. Um, yeah, and you really like the last one the best. I like that one, but I also I like the red currant. Okay, cool. So that's Votivo or Votivo. Woo! Kettle checks.